welcome back guys this is Srikant today in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to create a maintenance plan so for that you need to create your you need to connect to your server this is my server I'm going to connect just click on connect right next thing is basically then you will see the multiple option here you just to uh, just double click on that and you see these are the databases I have and I want to uh, create a maintenance plan which will basically take a backup so maintenance plan already be created for uh, doing some kind of maintenance activity right back uh, index reorganize or rebuilding like that so you need to go inside the management inside the management you will see the maintenance plan just click on that see we don't have any maintenance plan so we'll create one new maintenance plan this is the plan new maintenance plan then i'm not changing anything uh, the scheduling and this all the information higher level of information then we have that toolbox right so here we have multiple option like if you want to run a uh, uh, sql server agent job then you need to take this option or if you want to run a simple sql statement you can run this one you can use this option likewise we have multiple option but now we are just going to create a backup task so simply drag and drop this here on the screen then double click on uh, on this uh, item then you need to provide all the possible information like what kind of backup you are taking the full backup uh, for which database do you want to take the backup i want to take this for these two uh, databases right simply click on ok select and ok yeah correct then backup type is on the disk basically then destination you need to provide the provide basically the path right so you can see here this is the path which i have given but you know uh, i'm going to change this path actually now i'm going to change this path to f drive in the f drive i have folder code as a backup this is the path okay. here if you want to provide the name of file you can simply provide the name let's say my back backup file okay then click on okay here then it will ask you if by if a backup file already exists how do you want to proceed i want to override it not happening okay so uh, these are different options like you do you want to go over the copy only backup copy only backup is kind of backup where uh, it won't disturb its uh, pre-existing backup strategies it just take a backup and ignore it okay then yeah i think all simple options right just click on okay now you will see that red box has gone now it is showing a screen right then this is a simple maintenance plan we just created up uh, for you know for uh, for what purpose actually this is we have created for the full backup right now we are not scheduling anything just for demonstration then just, just simply i'm going to save it just save it now see what will happen we have saved it right then we are going to close it now refresh it once again and come again here see with the maintenance plan appeared here now you can just simply double click on this you can see the multiple things like you know see all this information okay now if you come and if you go to the sql server agent you will see in the job see maintenance plan has been created right so just try to uh, explore this maintenance plan so what will happen whenever you create a maintenance plan a sql server agent job will be automatically created see this is the sub plan we just created and these are all the information then just go to the steps in the steps you can see it has already it has created a package a sql server package and if you try to understand or try to see the path of this package let's let me show you just click on edit right uh, here you can see in the in the package see it has taken the maintenance plan maintenance plan package okay right uh, in the command line also you can see all this information here you will see all the basic information like uh, uh, what is the maintenance plan and uh, how, where is that package located right and uh, let's see the schedule actually it won't show any schedule here see right nothing so what i'm going to do see sql server as a job will automatically create it that's fine so i'm just going to run this one before that i'm going just going to my backup folder and just show it see nothing is here in this folder right now what i'm going to do i'm just simply coming here and just starting start the job at step one so my job has been started and something is happening right now i can see it is succeed 
now what will i do i'll just for verification i go to the my folder and say i will see this file backup file right this backup file has just been created see the time frame 9:59 am right 9:59 am right now again what will i do again uh, i am going to run this one if i come to the folder see the time frame is is it change let me refresh once again or you can just come here nine because uh, the time frame was the same that's why okay fine so you know this is the strategy now what i'm going to do you know i can uh, i can schedule basically this maintenance plan accordingly so for example my requirement is just to uh just to take a full backup at 12 am in the midnight so so what i need to do i just need to go to the my maintenance plan right here and i just need to schedule uh the uh time right so simply i can just need to create a one scheduler here like i would say every, every day daily uh recurs every day at 12 am in the midnight right this is the thing and just provide a name daily daily at daily once right likewise right so what will happen you know when the 12 am will be there it automatically will trigger the job and it will start taking the backup for example uh, i have this one but this is the full backup which i just created now my requirement is basically uh, i want to basically create one more plan can i do that yeah you can do that so for example i now i will just want to uh, create another plan for backup basically but that should be the differential backup and we should run uh, for every two hours so what will i need to simply i need to select the differential then i need to select the database okay and this all this information are already been there you can select create data for all the multiple option you can see likewise so this is dependent right? this is very simple so i hope you understood uh, how to create the maintenance plan how to see the maintenance plan and how to modify the maintenance plan also right and if you want to modify the same thing like just go to the old maintenance plan and change the properties whatever you have you can change it from here you can change anything right so i hope you understood and enjoyed our video related to the maintenance plan if you really like our video please start uh, please start a subscribe or please share our video with your community friend and, and that will help us to reach more people and thanks for watching have a great day ahead